Hello, David S. Pumpkins. How are you? How is your Halloween? Um, how is everyone's Halloween? Interesting. So I got a bunch of unemployed villagers here, which is good. It means I can pull any of them. I've got two iron golems in there. Uh, that guy, what is he, like a Fletcher or something? Wow. Okay, well, you know, that's, uh, that's not a horrible thing. I can pull some of them out and do, uh, do things with them. All right, so this farm is still kind of doing its thing. And I got a huge backlog of the hoppers. Um, and it's still working from the sounds of it. Plop. Uh, so I need to, yeah, we'll do this. Okay, um, that needs, I need some work here. I need to pull out pumpkins, and I opened up the side here so I can come in and, like, short-circuit some of this because I've got a lot of stuff just kind of flowing through here and from all the way back. So, obviously, I did not plan the, uh, the hopper layout, the hopper collection system correctly, um, so I need to rethink that. Hello, guys. So, Halloween. Uh, it was just Halloween. This guy has now been on the server. He's been in this world. Um, I think I think I captured him two Halloweens ago. So he's going into his third year on the server. Um, he was spawned with the pumpkin head, the jack-o'-lantern head, as zombies do on Halloween in Minecraft. Uh, I think I may need to move him, though. Um... And what do I need to do here? I need to do... Yeah, so I need I need a bunch of workstations for these guys to make them sort of stick with their profession. So he's a cartographer. Still a cartographer. Uh, and then what I want to do is I want to put up some barriers because I don't want anybody coming in and deciding they're going to, like, coming in trade with any of these guys because right now that's the last thing I need so I'm gonna put up I'm gonna put up some barriers and I'm gonna put up uh, some torches on top of these oops yeah put up a torch here plop torch here plop um of course, this is bypassable, of course, but I'm going to put up some signs. I'm basically going to say, do not enter, do not trade. Um, we need to sort this out, and I'll have to build a bunch of um, workstations for these guys and, and actually set them up. Do not enter. Do not trade. Not ready yet. Okay. Spooky sound. So, these things still working? Yeah, I think so. Okay, that's good. And then I'll have to get rid of these golems. I don't think these guys can spawn anymore. And then I'll have to go and pick out the ones that actually have a profession. Like that guy there. I think he's a Fletcher. I'm a little nervous about going inside here with these golems in place. But um, like the Fletcher and the Nitwit, if I can't convert them, then there's there's like zero point. Oh, and there's a bed here, which might actually be a problem. So let's uh, let's put this bed away, <clears throat> and yeah, okay. So this is good. Not should not be a villager breeder at this point. There's no beds anywhere near, and I don't know what the other requirements are. And these guys, I don't want to trade you with them until I spend some time fixing it. Yeah. Um, let us get some more wheat, because I have some wheat plants here. Did I just... Yes, I did. Okay. So let's get this. Put my blue carpet down. And plop, 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 plop. 
And then carpet, I should be able to put against the side of that guy. There we go. These things drop a ton of seeds. Oh, but can I can compost the seeds, right? I think so. They're not super efficient, but it's better than just not doing anything with them. There we go. So now I have 24 wheat. Let's, um, it's getting dark. Let's sleep away the night that is inevitably coming. And let's go upstairs. Oh, hello. You survived. Thank you. And obviously, I, I've, I checked out yeah, on the test server. I checked out most everything. The only thing I didn't check out was the guardian farm. So that's probably worth uh, checking. But we can... Plop. Um... What do I have here? I have a gold nugget from probably killing some... A zombie? Uh, <gasps> can we compost... Okay, I need, I need more wood. I need to make some more composters. Uh, I got wood upstairs. It's probably the best place to get wood. And I can chop down this tree and get more. Oh, I don't have a ton of wood. Interesting. Um, let's grab this and go get some wood. So, Halloween just happened. It is now November, oh, I think it's November 2nd. I think it's Day of the Dead. Uh, it was a little unclear to me on the, the actual timing of that festival, holiday, whatever you want to call it. Um, but Chua Power G is at the moment speaking, co uh, watching Coco. Um, we watched it last night, but she fell asleep our way through. So um, she's re-watching Coco, which is all set on Day of the Dead uh, and is about it. So, blah, blah, blah. And then, um, and Halloween happened, and we don't get a lot of trick or treaters on Halloween where we live. Um, now, apparently, not too far away from where we live is considered like a. Well, uh, careful there considered a hotbed for for trick-or-treaters like the, the houses have lines of people because I guess the the uh, the houses give out good candy or something I don't know but uh, that's not where we live so uh, we usually get like a bag of mixed candy and uh, for the one or two trick-or-treaters that happen to come we give that out to them, and then we take the rest of the candy into the office and give away to our coworkers, uh, just so we don't end up eating all of it. But the uh, and we we went to a Halloween party at the Magic Castle, which is I think pretty cool. Uh, and they do it. They did it this year. It was on the thirtieth, and it was a members-only thing, so you had to be uh, a, a member or be invited by a member, and uh, you know, be the guest of a member. So we had. Oh, leaves are dropping sticks now, huh? Okay, uh, I guess that's okay. So if I go and take half of this and go turn that into planks and turn this into sticks and then turn, wait, how many, I get six, no, oh, I get 48 and I turn this into planks, I can get 12 composters. Okay. It's better than nothing. Um, can I turn this into planks? And then 
turn this into I want that 48 fence gates and then make another 26 composters oh, okay could be worse and put that up there okay so now um, I have a bunch of seeds the composter where should I put the composter? I should put one over here, right? Well, just for now, let's put it, let's just put it down here. Oops. Oh. Oh. So I have to have the thing I want to put in the composter in my hand. My understanding is that for any given Oh, it's a super inefficient way of getting bone meal. But, it's free bone meal and I get rid of those seeds. Okay. Um, saplings. Will saplings work? Yes. Okay. Another horribly inefficient way of doing this, but you know. But what can I tell you? Okay, but you end up with all kinds of spare stuff that you can't really. You can only do so much. You can only need so many saplings in the world. Okay. In certain. Uh, whoops. Oh. Interesting. You used to be, oh, you can get it in the composter. And the light in here is light 11. It's 10 on top. That's weird. So the composter might actually be transparent. I don't know. We'll have to do some tests to find out. Sticks. Can you compost sticks? No. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's that's good to know. Let's uh Oh, I've got some stuff in the composter. Level one. What happens if I break it? It just goes back to being a composter and I don't get anything in at level zero. Okay. All right, Guardian Farm. So they changed the orientation you're facing when you come through a portal, which is fine. <clears throat> That'll just take some getting used to. Uh, the Guardian Farm is it's a ways away, right? It's way out here. Guardian Farm. I wonder if you can compost mushroom blocks. Be nice if you could automate it too. Okay, let's see if this still works. I think it does. Wow, that took a while to start. Hi, doggy. I don't know who you belong to. Ooh, sure takes a while getting through portals for the first time. Uh, can I drop some of the stuff off here? Yeah. 
You might be able to compost zombie flesh, which would be kind of cool. Oh. Oh, I hear a drown. Hmm. Uh, and I have turtles out here, which is kind of nice. Okay. Okay, let's, uh... Go visit the Guardian Farm. Okay, well, the Guardian are spawning. They are dropping to their death. They're making that awful, awful sound. And the item elevator is working. Can you compost fish? That would be kind of awesome. Okay, so that's the other item elevator. It's going and dropping stuff here and it's dropping down below. Wait, how do I get down to that layer? Is there an exit here? All right here, okay. It's coming around the S curve just as planned. And then stuff is getting caught up here. 1.15 has a new block. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, 1.15 has a new block, which is, what was that? It was a partial, oh, the honey block. And the honey block seems pretty cool. Um, it's, it's kind of a full block and kind of not, which, um, so like these guys here are just full. And is, are my, is my sword are actually doing stuff? Yeah, so like they're coming through here now. Oh, this guy might be full. It is full. Oh, okay. That's basic maintenance. I'm going to have to go through here and clear out some of this. Okay. It's probably going to back up everything and cause lots of trouble. And so um, I don't really have... My overflow is filling up with prismarine shards. I don't want. Okay, I'm gonna leave before I cause problems here. Um, and yeah, okay. But everything in general seems to be working. Oh, look at that. Wow, that was weird. Okay, good. Guardian farm still works. I just need to do some basic maintenance, um, clear out some of the overflow and whatnot. Why are there seeds laying on the ground here? I don't know. I got carrots over there. Giant mushrooms. Or mushrooms. I can become giant mushrooms. And uh, the witch farm probably needs some some work, but uh, probably have enough stuff here to keep us tied over for a little bit. Let me go to sleep here. And there we go. And then, whoa, 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 whoa. That was an interesting little bit of rubber banding. So the composter could be helpful for just getting rid of all the miscellaneous drops that the trees have that are, you only need so many saplings. But can you compost mushrooms?
Um, the answer ideally would be yes. Yes, you can. Can you compost mushroom blocks? Um, well, I have mushroom blocks here. Let me, uh, let me grab a few. Yes. Oh, mushroom blocks are one of those things that... Uh, okay, let me put on F3. So, notice the the targeted block compost are level 0. Level 1, level 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then it turns into bone meal. Uh, so, mushroom blocks are one of these things that... Um, advance that counter by one every time. There's a handful of blocks to do that. Uh, and if we look at mushrooms, other blocks, so level four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, so one, two. So that one did not advance it. Two, three, four, five. Ah, did not advance it. Did not. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so some some items. Let's get rid of these seeds because I don't need these seeds. Things like seeds have a relatively low chance of advancing the uh, the the timer, the counter. Oops, now let's get this one here. Um, but some things like mushroom blocks have a very good chance. So coca beans one, ah, uh, they have a chance, not a particularly great chance. Okay, that's good to know. So you could spend bone meal to grow up a giant mushroom and then, ah, actually, it's a good point. Why don't I have a bone meal here? Well, I have bone meal here, of course, because I just got some from the composter. So if I, if I, if I make one of these guys grow up, I thought I could do that. Oh, and switch my silk touch. So in theory, it only takes one bow meal to grow up one of these guys. And cutting one down, I get 45 bow meal. It should give me about our uh, 45 um, giant mushroom blocks, which should get me about eight bone meal. Six bone meal. Okay, but that's all right. Oh, I have more mushroom stems here. Huh. So the giant mushroom blocks have a good chance, but not a hundred percent chance, I guess. Looks like a couple of those did not convert. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Uh, still. I got more bone meal out of that than I used to grow the mushroom, so seems like a fair trade-off. Uh, fish. Can I compost fish? Because you kind of can in the real world. Let's go see. New recipes unlocked. Gonna be seeing that a lot. No, you cannot compost fish. 
It's too bad because in the real world, fish is rather like bone meal in that it can be great, very helpful for making plants grow. Okay. Zombie flesh. Probably can't compost leather. Can you compost the lily pads? That would be a horrible waste. So the lily pads are a little hard to come by. Zombie flesh. No. Okay. Oh well. That would have been convenient. But I guess it's kind of gross. All right. Well, I think that's, that's all I needed to do right away. I do have a lot of work to do on the villagers, but we'll uh, we'll save that for next time. Or I'll work on that off camera. Hi, buddy. Hi, kitty. Uh, and speaking of villagers, I need to kind of build out that uh, that village inside the pyramid, which was a originally a, a you know a naturally generating village. I need to make it so that the villagers are able to actually get up into the houses and put beds in the houses so that I can actually have a little village in there with villagers running around and then cats should spawn and I should have wild cats inside the village, which I think is would be pretty cool inside the pyramid, which I think would be appropriate since the Egyptians were rather fond of cats, but uh, we will, we will see. I need, that's another longer term project. Um, and yeah, so things seem to be working just fine with the upgrade. So um, I'll sign off for now. And I think there are some plans afoot when it comes to new projects. Um, and we will see how that goes. And uh, I'll do a little bit more exploring in the labyrinth. And we will build a dungeon underneath the labyrinth. To figure out the logistics on that. Got more places. But I think that's all I'm going to do for now. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party. And I will see you next time. Alright? Bye!